Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Uh, today we're working on the August 2016 New York Geometry Common Core Regents, problem number 17. Um, if you want to access these exams, you go to nysedregents.org, uh, click on the appropriate tabs, and all the uh, video, all the tests are freely available there. So here's the problem. The density of the American wild oak tree is 752 grams, kilograms per cubic meter. If the trunk of the American wild oak tree has a circumference of 4.5 meters and a, the height of the trunk is 8 meters, what is the approximate number of kilograms of the trunk? Okay, so this is a, so a tree generally looks like this you know if you should you should definitely draw a diagram I don't know what an oak tree specifically looks like but the the, the trunk is approximately cylindrical isn't it it's a circle a circle uh, and it's approximately cylindrical now in this case they said the tr the circumference is 4.5 meters and the height is eight meters, so they're, I think they're assuming that it's approximated by a, by a cylinder. So that's what you should definitely assume. Now you might, we want to know what the approximate number of kilograms in the trunk. Well, let's look at the formula sheet that we have available to us, okay? This is the formula sheet that we have. We have a bunch of units up here converting, okay? And then we also have some some equations here and we do we have I wonder the volume of a cylinder we in fact do have a volume of a cylinder here so now we know that that these some of these equations are accessible in the formula sheet here's the volume of a cylinder v equals pi r squared h and what is not available in the in the formula sheet is a formula that 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 is extremely important in real life situations you do need to know the density formula density is equal to mass divided by volume and that's just it's a formula they expect you to know now you know that they expect you to know so definitely have that as, as part of your toolkit um, we just at this point then need to plug in numbers here so if there if this trunk is modeled by a uh, cylinder okay so then the circumference C is equal to 4.5 meters and the height uh, is 8 meters. Okay, well, let's see, the density is 50, 752 grams per kilogram per cubic meter. So that's 752 is equal to, now we need to know the mass. We're looking for the mass or approximate number of kilograms of the trunk, okay? Now, you do need to know that kilograms is a measure of mass, so yes, we're looking for mass. I'm gonna call this mass M, and then uh, volume. We need to get the volume of the cylinder. Well, if the circumference is 4.5 meters, let's call this R, so C equals two pi R, divide, so 4.5 equals two pi R, divide by 2 pi and we get R is equal to 4.5 over 2 pi okay so now the volume is equal to pi R squared H so let's write these numbers down so it's M over pi times R is 4.5 over 2 pi uh, squared times the height is 8 okay now you have options I know a lot of physics people like to count like to multiply both sides by this quantity first and then and then plug into the calculator but I, so in other words multiply by uh, pi times 4.5 over 2 pi squared times 8 and do the same thing here times pi uh, 4.5 over 2 pi squared times 8. Okay, let's so let's do that. Um, I, I tend to think that that's the easier way to go. So pi, there's a pi button, there it is right there, times uh, 4.5 divided by parentheses 2 pi, 2 pi is in the denominator, so I need parentheses around that, squared 
times 8 times uh, 752. Okay, and that's uh, volume is in meters, density is in kilo, uh, kilograms per meter, per cubic meter. Uh, so volume is in cubic meter, so this is a number of kilograms. Okay, so 9694.4, okay, is the mass. Let's see, 9694.4, there it is right there. That's how to do this problem. Uh, now, if you wanted to know how to estimate uh, this, this problem, uh, a circumference of 4.5 meters is a circle of length 4.5 meters. 2 pi r means that the well the circumference is the circumference is just about one and a half times pi. So the the diameter that means it's just about a meter. Okay. Uh, so and then it has a height of I'm sorry a height of width of, width of a meter. Then the height is 8 meters, okay? So, that's a heavy, heavy trunk, okay? It might, it might not feel like that does much for us, but we do know th that 13 kilograms, if you've ever got to the gym, you should know what 13 kilograms looks like. It's about, it's about 30 pounds or so. Uh, that's not very heavy at all, so that can't be the answer. Now, that t takes a problem that's, we, we have a chance of one in four getting it right to a problem that we have a one in three chance of getting it right if we don't know how to do this problem at all. So that's my advice. Definitely use your geometric intuition to try to decide what answers make sense. Uh, now, if you're just looking for the answer to the 17, then you can go ahead and, and uh, skip, uh, press the skip button, go on to problem 18, uh, but we did create a problem that's extra for you guys so that you can get some extra practice, um, and here it is. The density of iron is 7.87 grams per cubic centimeter. If a spherical cannonball has a diameter of 22 centimeters, what is the approximate number of grams of the cannonball? And then there's a few answers ranging from 1,521 grams, which is 1.5 kilograms, to all the way to 351,020 uh, grams, which is uh, 351 kilograms. Now. I want you to pause the video, try to use your geometric intuition to try to see if you can eliminate any of the choices here, uh, because there are some choices. This is a big range, 1,521 all the way to 351,020. That's a big range of numbers. I bet you some of these numbers probably don't quite make sense. Use your geometric intuition, knowing what a gram looks like, to see if you can uh, maybe eliminate some of the choices. By the way, a gram happens to be about the weight of a paperclip, which of course paperclips vary in size, so that's just a general feeling for you of what a, what a gram is. A gram weighs about uh, the same amount as a, as a paperclip, and its mass is about the same as a paperclip. So if here's uh, an, here's iron, which we know uh, what iron looks like. So that's a uh, it's a um, it's what weights are made of, it's what a lot of uh, the metal objects that we see in life are made of. Now, we, we should know in general the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. Iron is, is more dense, so 7.87 sounds like it should be the actual density. Uh, now, a spherical cannonball has a diameter of 22 centimeters. 22 centimeters is just slightly under a foot, it's about two thirds of a foot. So we're talking about a spherical ball of iron about this big. So what should the weight of the iron ball be if it's that big? One and a half kilograms, uh, I don't know, but 351 kilograms, meaning that not even I would be able to lift it, not even Arnold Schwarzenegger would be able to lift it. That's an unreasonable amount. So 351 is probably, is definitely, I'm gonna say not the answer. Um, I don't, I think that 1,521 grams, in other words, 1.5 kilograms, which is about two or three pounds, is probably not the answer either. I'm, I'm even leaning towards choice uh, three, but we'll see. We, what, how do we do this though? The density is equal to mass over volume. Now here's an issue. We're not given the density formula for, uh, for anything at all, so we do have to know this. We have to know this formula. Who knew that in the geometry test you have to know a chemistry formula? But you do. Uh, 
And so how, wh- how do we go about this? We will, we have the density we're given to us is 7.87 and we have to know the number of grams. That's an unknown. So it's okay that it's unknown because we're trying to find it. Now the volume, it's a sphere. Let's see. Don't go and, and, and use the wrong formula. We, it's the formula for the area of a sphere. Hopefully you know that it is, but we should go to the formula sheet to check if we're given it. And in fact, we are. The volume of a sphere, this is the same the formula sheet you get, the volume of a sphere, V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay, so we use that. Uh, 4 thirds pi r cubed which is equal to m over 4 thirds pi times r is, uh, let's see, well, we're given the diameter. d is equal to 22 centimeters divided by 2, divided by 2, and we get r is equal to 11 centimeters. Okay, 11 squared, uh, cubed. So we multiply by 4 thirds pi 11 cubed to cancel all of this out, and here, we also multiply by 4 thirds pi times 11 cubed. Uh, let's see. That's when we get our calculator out. Okay, so we do 4 thirds times pi times 11 cubed. Okay. Uh, now, when I see 11 cubed, I should know that now the, the density can't... 11 cubed is 11 times 11 times 11 is over 1,000. And then we're multiplying by a bunch of other numbers, so 7.87. Um, times 7.87. Okay. And we get 43,000. So M is equal to 43,877.5. Okay, so that is choice three. Okay, that that's and we, we which is what we had guessed with our with our geometric intuition. So hopefully you understood what happened. It's it's look it's it's a lot of hard work, but I believe in you and I know you can do it. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video starting right now.